I have a question of the day. This is a question I tweeted on Twitter quite a while back. The question of the day is, would Malcolm X support Barack Obama? There is a t-shirt that has a picture of three black leaders. Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, and Barack Obama. It says, continuing the dream. Of course, the message of that shirt is Barack Obama and Malcolm X are tied in this progression. Some people are going to say, you are a white guy, so your opinion is not valid. But people only say that when you disagree with them. If you agree with them, they really don't care that much about who you are. I shouldn't even be asking that question. Of course, it's obvious Malcolm X would be supporting Barack Obama. But if you've actually read about Malcolm X, if you looked into it deeply and not just saw what you wanted to see, you would see he wasn't a supporter of the Democratic Party. I read an interesting book about him called The Evolution of a Revolutionary. It was about Malcolm X in his last days. As you may remember, in his last days, he had the epiphany that white, all white people aren't bad. And also, the book suggested he became more politically progressive in the sense as he became a socialist. The 1964 election was an interesting one, and the book mentioned that. The book mentioned the point that he would not have supported either the Republican or the Democratic Party. That same Democratic Party is the Democratic Party of today. So what if he has supported Barack Obama? Barack Obama does not deviate from the Democratic Party. He had to kiss a lot of white ass to get where he was. In the 1964 election, as that book mentioned, there was one party that Malcolm X came close to endorsing, but he didn't quite do it. The candidate was white, so he was hesitant to do that. It was a Socialist Workers' Party. Interestingly enough, that's a party I voted for in the 2008 election. Roger Calario, a Latino guy, I voted for. I'm not a socialist. I'm a big third party guy, but not a socialist. I didn't vote for that party because I share their ideology. In fact, the more I go in this life, I realize how much wrong it is. So would have Malcolm X supported the Socialist Worker Party today? Would he have supported a progressive Latino over a status quo mixed half white, half black individual? That's a good question. Who knows exactly, but I don't think he would have been the campaign manager for Barack Obama. One article I read, I believe it was Jadder Esquire, said we can't expect to have a viable presidential candidate who's black to be the reincarnation of Stokely Carmichael. Point well taken. That point suggests in order to get the votes you need to get, you can't be too radical. You can't be too correct in where you stand on the issues. Take where Barack Obama stood on his vice president candidate. He could have put a lot of people there. He could have had progressive women. He could have had men of color. He could have had a woman of color. But no, he chose some white guy. I don't agree with the Spartacus approach, but they did have a good point in one of their newsletters. They said if you went to a computer program and you put in all the ingredients for anti-change... What it would have spit it out was Joe Biden. Joe Biden is a status quo white guy. So it shows you something there that he chose Joe Biden. The third parties, they had progressive candidates. They had women of color. They've had men of color. They've had women, but not the Democratic Party. I don't think the Democratic Party is worthy to vote for. A lot of people obviously disagreed with me in the last election. But I believe they are of a mediocre mind. I recently saw this great quote that said, mediocrity is excellence to mediocre people. And that totally 
exemplifies the view I've had in life. Malcolm X wasn't about mediocrity. He was about excellence. Barack Obama was and is about mediocrity. I was even reading a newspaper when I was in Swaziland that was saying Barack Obama hasn't achieved much despite all his great promises of change. I was talking to one person there that said, who asked what I thought of Barack Obama and I expressed my opinion and she said, that's what they all say. They all say they're going to change it and then they just keep doing the same thing. We got a black man in there, but it's the black man that does the same stuff as the white guys before him have done. No drastic change. Would Malcolm X have supported Barack Obama? That is the question of the day. I don't think so. I don't think he would have supported the filthy Democratic Party. Even Ann Coulter can tell you that the Democratic Party once stood for awful things like slavery. The worst segregationists, as even Ann Coulter pointed out, were in the Democratic Party. The Republican Party is, of course, far from perfect. But a party with a history of that? I don't think Malcolm X would have supported that. Do you?